Beaver Stadium in University Park, Pennsylvania. And on game days, it becomes the third biggest city in the states. And now it's time for the coin toss. And it's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. Ohio State is lined up to kick the ball off first, and we are ready to go. Excellent kick. He's to the 20. Tackle at the 23-yard line. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Pitch out right, and he's tackled for a loss. You know, as, as a running back, you've got to get upfield north and south. That time, he just seemed to wait and kind of delay his reaction and just got to be able to make a read, get upfield as quickly as possible. In college football, especially up in the NFL, the more you're dancing around waiting for a big play, the more time you're giving an athletic defense a chance to come and make a play in the backfield against you, and that's what happened there. He's tackled around the 34-yard line. That one goes for good yardage and a first down. Yeah, that's just a nice gain on second down. From their own 34-yard line, first down. Got a man, watch out here. Tackle made around the 49-yard line. I'm a huge fan of the play action pass in college football because the play action, it really puts a lot of pressure on defense. The defense gets caught up and concerned about the running game and it puts them out of position and it makes the throwing lanes for the quarterback and the windows that he's trying to find much easier to find for a quarterback and the receivers to pick up big yards like we just saw there. First down, 10 to go. Ball in the 49. Got it complete, and he's out of bounds. I'm really liking what I see from this guy. He's not afraid to go to the air on any down. Over the middle, got his tight end. They'll bring him down at the 19. Getting the ball to your tight end and allowing him to make plays in the passing game can really open things up on the outside for your real speedsters. From the 19-yard line, first down. He's going to try and scramble. Huge play, and it's going to be first and goal. They're really putting a nice drive together right now. And it seems right now this defense is having a hard time guessing what the offense is up to. And this play is number eight on the drive. Scrambling around. And he's going to come up with a sack. This is the ninth play of this drive. Larry, Larry. Mike, Mike, Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. There's one the quarterback would like to rewind because he has a wide open receiver and he just misfires. It's fourth down. They'll line it up for the field goal. Penn State could take the lead with this field goal. 
He gets it up, and he's got it. Thompson looks ready to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Buckeyes in talking with them this week, Kirk, is just interesting their perspective on this kid, how good he is, and how much they can lean on him. Yeah, you and I had a chance to visit with not only the coaches, but the player himself. And I got a real good vibe walking out of those meetings and, and thinking that he's going to have a huge game. The coaches seem confident in being able to get him the football in different areas on the field. This kid has a look in his eye that I haven't seen in a long time where he just wants to have a chance to have an impact on the game and on the outcome. And I, I'd be shocked if they can slow him down. From their own 26 yard line. It's second down. So the halfback gets only two on the draw play. right side got his tail back and they make the stop at the 45 yard line from their own 45 yard line it's first down Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. Taken down at about the 23 yard line. That makes it first and 10. From the 23 yard line, first down. He's knocked out of bounds at the 24. play of this drive. Throws incomplete. So the kicking team is on the field. They'll try for three. Ohio State is down three and looking to tie it up. Kicks up, and they tack on three points. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. And so far, it's been totally even. In close games like this, every possession is likely to matter. Nice run, and he's brought down. They're about four yards away here on second down. it up the middle for a nice run. They'll 
knock him down for a loss. That brings up second and 13. Second down, 13 yards to go. Ball on the 35. Here we go! Another run. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Here's the halfback on the screen. Tackle at the 47-yard line. From the 47-yard line, first down. And they get nice yardage on that run. the 26. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 26-yard line. Throws it out at all. He's hit hard for a loss. That'll bring up second and 11. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. And he's taken down at the 26-yard line. So we're looking at another third down here. I know the defense would have liked to have prevented such a big game, but the important thing is that they held and brought up fourth down. down around the 13 yard line first down pick up by the tailback you can see how comfortable this guy is with that football in his arms from the 13 yard line it's first down they're gonna pitch it looking for the corner nice run to the outside play 13 of the current drive And that's as pretty an option play as you'll ever see. It took all fall practice for the quarterback and the halfback to get their timing down. Man, do they look good now. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A 13-play, 74-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. So our score, 10-3. Penn State gets set to kick this one away. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Throw 
almost complete, and he stopped immediately. That'll bring up second and three. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Makes the catch and look out. He gets hit out of bounds around the 43 yard line. It's first and 10. Ball on the 43. Now he tries to buy some time. He gets sacked on the play. Second down and 11. Ball on the 44-yard line. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. There are three quarters remaining. Penn State's lead is a touchdown. And we're back for more action here in quarter number two. He's at the 30, makes it to the 27. From the 27 yard line. First down. And they hit him in the backfield. That play was over before it got started. That was just a case of the offensive line getting beat at the snap of the ball. Play fake. There's a strike complete, and he's down. Illegal touching. Offense. That penalty will move him back a bit. Down. Yeah, and with so many young guys out there, it's bound to happen occasionally. So another third down here, and this time it's third and long. He's under some heat, and he can't get away from the pressure. After the sack, it's now fourth and long. He'll try to knock this punt down inside the 20. That close to being intercepted. And they'll take over on downs. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Penn State is up seven. Here's the halfback. Gains his way to the 30-yard line.
first and ten. Ball on the 30-yard line. He is drilled at the 31. Well, you can really mess with an offense's game plan if you can take away their ability to run. Check 13. Check 13. I got you, boy. I got you, boy. Here we go. Run, 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 run. And he makes it out to about the 31 yard line. Third down. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 20. Let's go! Green 19! Green 19! Dangerous throw. This one's picked off. Linebacker here does a good job with his instincts of getting in the path of the receiver. Boy, what a great play. From their own 35-yard line, first down. Fires that quickly, incomplete. Well, that was clearly a poor read on somebody's part. And the bad news is there was no defender around. If the pass was anywhere near him, it could have gone for a big play. Back five, back five, connect, four, two, four, go. Give to the running back, and he's going to lose yardage. Got third and 12. Ball on the 33 yard line. Rifles at right. Almost intercepted. This unit has quick hands, and they showed it there by knocking away the pass. Singleton, the return man. Oh, excellent punt. And he's taken down at the 32-yard line. Made a few guys miss on his way to a quality return. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Penn State is up by a touchdown. He steps out at the 35. Second and eight. Ball on their own 35. He makes it to the 38-yard line. is back deep to return. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. He gets out to about the 28-yard line. The Buckeyes know, I think, that at some point, they just have to do what they do, even if it's not working right now. If they can get it going in the second half, it should really improve the ball game and the offense. Well, the offensive line, I think, also has to be accountable here. Uh, we look so much to our star players, and we always want them to put up big numbers. But to me, the two go hand in hand. When a running back's going to have a great game, the offensive line deserves some credit. When a running back's struggling, you got to look at that offensive line and say, fellas, you got to help me out. We're not going to change or deviate from this game plan. We need to be able to change this game around, and it starts up front with the offensive line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 40. Quick out to his receiver. And they make the stop at the 50. First 
Takes the ball inside. He fights forward to around midfield. It's second down and 11 to go. Ball on the 50. Throws out, got his back again. He's taken down at the 49-yard line. He guns it left side. He hauls it in and gets out of bounds. From the 23-yard line, it's first down. Makes it to the 22-yard line. Throws quick to the receiver, and it falls incomplete. That pass led him just a little bit too far, but still great effort. We're at play number nine of this current drive. And he's got him again. That's a D12 on the ball. That makes it first and 10. From the 10-yard line, first down. Quick throw. They'll bring him down around the 10-yard line. Here's the 11th play of the drive. To the end zone, touchdown! develop nicely well it's all about the receiver on this play he beat his man off the line and then ran a perfect route all he had to do after that was make the catch they got great concentration from everyone to connect on that flag pattern the extra point to tie this game up and he adds the extra point a nice 10 play 72 yard drive and they come away with seven points brad i love these kind of drives they're old school grind it out and earn the yards and just rip the heart right out of that defense He's to the 20. They'll bring him down at the 22-yard line. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. Steps out of bounds right around the 24-yard line. That makes it second and eight. It's second down and eight. Ball on the 24. Here we go. The halfback with a carry. He gets four, maybe five yards on the counter. That makes it third and three. He's at midfield. Inside the 30. And they finally knock him out at the 25. Looking to capitalize on the big run. Now it's first and 10. Flips it middle to the running back. And down he goes around the 24 yard line. That brings up second and nine. Right. 
And he makes it out to about the 24-yard line. That'll bring up third and eight. Third down, and they need to get it to the 15. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. And they push him out at the 16. Well, they get all those yards, but come up just shy of the first. Good play call, almost perfect execution, except for the fact that they're not going to get the first down. Slings it. Big play there, and now they're looking at first and goal. This is the eighth play of this drive. Not a real fancy play here, just a smartly run route. Good protection and a well-placed ball. Most times, you don't need much more than that. And a nice move to finish it off. Touchdown. the PAT. A nice eight play, 77 yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. You know, Brad, a lot of times you have to watch practice and watch a seven on seven drill to not see the ball touch the ground. This time they went the entire length of the field. The ball never touched the ground. Great execution by the quarterback and the receiver. So the score now, 17-10. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 20. What a collision. This offense threw the ball extremely well on their last drive, and they ended up with a touchdown. So much of the passing game is about the timing between the quarterback and his wide receivers. And right now with this offense, they are in sync, and really the timing and execution is flawless. It could be that the offensive coordinator is trying to lure the secondary in to play more press coverage, and then they'll try to take advantage by going deep. Those safeties better be ready. He's tackled around the 31-yard line. From their own 31-yard line. Third down. He throws right. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. He steps up. Very good tackle in space. Throws a strike over the middle. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Green nine, green nine. Get green. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. That makes it first and ten. throw to the tight end brought down at the 19 this is smart efficient play calling you don't need to make the highlight reel on each play they're about four yards away here on second down and he's hit before he can go anywhere to his tailback. Runs through a defender and he's in. Tremendous example of the type of chemistry that these two players enjoy. When a quarterback and a receiver are on the same page, good things tend to happen. They'll line up for the extra point in an attempt to tie the game. And he tacks on the extra point.
The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. This is my kind of game. We're getting a chance to see so many touchdowns. I just wonder if this offense could continue the flow that we've seen from the previous three series. Pretty good looking touchdown drive the last time these guys were out there. He goes out of bounds at about the 35. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. Ready, lighting, huh? And they get the sack. Sometimes it's just a relentless pass rush that results in a sack. And that's what happened there. We've got third and eight. Ball on the 27-yard line. Ready! Run. Check, check! Eagle! Eagle! Hot, hot! Hot, hot! He's in trouble. He's wrapped up for the sack. We've played a half. This game is all tied up at 17. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Chris Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. These two defenses so far, they've been everything they've been advertised to be. They've stopped the run. They've limited the passing game. They apply pressure at the right time. It's going to be hard to find holes to move the ball at all in the second half. Yeah, and sometimes it's really bad offense. And sometimes you can also look at those holes and they come open and all of a sudden they close really fast. And, and that's what you're seeing. A lot of guys that are really athletic, really fast. They know where to be. A lot of guys that you'll be seeing playing on Sundays. I mean, it's just a lot of talent to overcome and you got to be in the right position. But then you got to beat those great players that are also in the right position. So I, I expect more of the same. But you know, which team can break through and make a huge play to, to take the other one, you know, off guard a little bit and make that big play. Just about set to start the second half. What are you looking for? I I'm looking to see which team has that decided schematical advantage. And if they can find it, they'll blow holes three or four axe handles wide. Brad and Kirk will be there to call the second half. All right, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action just about ready to start here. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. I think it says something about the quality of the preparation of both teams that we're into the third quarter and nobody's been able to pull away. Both sides seem to know what to expect. Tackle made around the 36-yard line. From their own 36-yard line. First down. Nice run there. Henderson picks up about four yards on the play. Makes the catch and look out. He's knocked out of bounds at about the 47 yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 47. Throws incomplete, intended for his wide outs. Go. 
got him on the screenplay. And he's tackled right around the 42-yard line. That'll be a gain of five. Not a bad play. That'll they gain five yards out of it, and they keep moving the defense back. Third and five, ball on the 42. And he's tackled right away. Quick pass. That is money in the bank. Sometimes you just can't stop a good combination. That quickly incomplete. Here's the eighth play of the series. And he's taken down at the 28 yard line. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 20. Over the middle to his tailback. Tackle at the 26. Ohio State is looking to go up by three. Kick is away, it's long enough, and he just drilled it from long range. That one looked like cake for this kid. Chalk up three points for the offense. 2017, Ohio State. He sends this one deep. He's to the 20. Tackle made at the 30-yard line. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. And he tackles him hard at the 39. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. the stop at the 42. the 35 yard line from the 35 yard line it's first down he makes his way out to about the 25 Makes it out to maybe the 23 yard line. And this play is number eight on the drive. Five wide. Set, 
Gets it. He's in space. He's pushed out of bounds at the 13-yard line. From the 13-yard line, first down. Here we go, They'll bring him down around the 10-yard line. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Third down, eight to go. Ball on the 10 yard line. Set, wide 80. Wide 80. Setting up blockers or running backs got it on the screen. He gets hit out of bounds around the six yard line. Penn State can tie it up here with this kick. The kick is up, and it splits the uprights. They line up to kick this one away. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Man, both offenses here in this third quarter have been on fire. Time for the defense to step to the forefront a little bit. Makes you wonder which of these defenses has the ability to come up and make a stop. It could be one of those games where whichever defense comes up with that stop could be the team that wins the game. Now's when you start to approach each drive thinking that if you take the lead, then the momentum you gain feels that much more powerful. Fires right side, got his tailback. And down he goes at the 28. From their own 28 yard line, it's second down. Give to the tailback, and he's met in the backfield. He was never able to get ahead of steam on that carry. Fires out to his wideout. He's tackled right around the 28-yard line. Singleton, the return man. He really got a hold of that one. He makes it out to maybe the 39-yard line. A lot of times you'll see teams start to clench up a little bit when games stay close well into the second half. You need to stay loose, keep doing what you've been doing all week in practice, and execute when it's time. Nice play fake. He lets it fly. The defender had it and then dropped it. Almost a big play. He patrols the deep part of the field like a center fielder, though he didn't make the catch like one. Second and 10, ball on the 39. He airs it out. This secondary better tighten it up if they're going to slow down this drive. Second and 14. Ball on the 33. He 
makes it out to maybe the 33-yard line. tackle could have saved a very big play it's fourth down and they're going to try to go for it defense and their short yardage package looks for his running back incomplete You don't want to squander any possessions, but maybe now's the right time to dip into your bag of tricks a little. Think about some gadget plays to catch the defense napping. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook. He makes it out to maybe the 20 yard line. From their own 20 yard line, second down. He fights forward to about the 23. He wants it all. Picked off. Brought down at about the 43 yard line. This safety always seems to be in the right place at the right time. It's no surprise that he comes up with the interception here. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 43. He fights forward to about the 43. Wants to go long and does. Incomplete, almost picked off. As a defender, you want to keep your hands up. Maybe you can come away with a pick or at least deflect the ball. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 47. Let's go! Bring it Got it, and brought down immediately. Thompson is the putter. And that'll do it for the third quarter. And at the end of three, the scoreboard dead even. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. It's away, and it's a booming punt. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. So early in the fourth quarter, every possession is going to count from here on out, and we're in a tie ball game. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. Tackle made around the 41-yard line. A nice-looking play that time. Well, the defense was blitzing here, and again, great recognition by the quarterback to find the hot receiver. It's first and 10. Ball on the 41-yard line. Out in the open. And he's tackled at the 45. First down. Black five. 
Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 45. Good work here by the defense to keep him from making something more out of that play. I'll tell you what, the defense gambled a bit here and came with the blitz, and a quarterback showed tremendous poise by making a good read and delivered a nice ball to the open man. From the 31-yard line, first down. They go with the run, and they get nice yardage on that run. That's a good one. That brings up second and five. and this is going to be a first down. And he is drilled at the 14. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Touchdown, Bucks. And he hits the PAT. An eight play, 81 yard drive. And they come away with seven points. So our score, 27 20. Ohio State is lining up to kick this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. You know, this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. He's to the 40. Hauls it in as he's pushed out of bounds. From their own 41-yard line, it's first down. Needed that play, and he dropped it. That makes it second and ten. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. It's caught first down, and he's out of bounds. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 38. Here we go. Lighting. Lighting. Oh, oh. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. to about the 24-yard line. From the 24-yard line, first down. Nice run there. Allen comes away with five yards on the carry.
Setting up play action. A huge play, and now they're in a great position to score. Here's the eighth play of the series. Here we go. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. Loss of one on the play. That brings him second and goal. From the 10 yard line, second down. Here we go! Line 80! They'll go with a toss right. He steps out at about the 13, heading for the corner. And this is the 10th play of the drive. You know, these backwards plays can have a psychological impact. It can damage a team's confidence if it keeps happening. Zipped it out, and that was almost picked off. Fourth down. They'll call on the field goal unit here. It's up, and he's got it. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Ohio State's expertise carrying the football is what we thought was going to be in the spotlight today, and here it's been the passing game instead. Yeah, we really thought this running back would have one of those days you'd remember for a long time, but this passing game has stepped up and been it put this offense in a position to be able to win this game. And he's taken down at the 23-yard line. Second down, 12 to go. Ball on the 23-yard line. Ohio State is up by four. He's scrambling. He's taken down at the 31. That's a team. That'll bring up third and four. Quick out to his receiver. Tackle at the 38. This is a big first down for this offense. I think it's another good example about how important it is to have an awareness about you as a wide receiver. The wide receiver did a really good job of knowing exactly where the first down marker was, and he made sure to get the route at least to that point, so when he made the catch and got hit, he had the first down. And it's caught, and he's brought down quickly. That brings him second and five. We've got a second and five. Ball on the 44-yard line. Tate on the right side. And they make the stop right around the 42-yard line. This one out to the left. And he's got the freshman. And he's finally out of bounds at the 32. That makes it first and 10. First and 10. Ball on the 32 yard line. Less than three minutes in the game.
And he carries the ball for a nice game. Penn State's going to use their first time out of the half here. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. And that sets them up with a first and goal. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Penn State will take their second time out of the half. Touchdown, Ohio State. Just under two to go in the game. And he adds the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The finish line's in sight. Let's see who wants this one more. Well, we're under two minutes to go in this game, and this offense is down by two possessions. The defense knows that if they can come up with another stop, this game is over. And he's level at the 32. The spike will stop the clock. It's third and three. Ball on the 32. Brought down around the 45-yard line. He goes downtown. He's got it with room to run. And he's all the way in for the touchdown. What a time for that touchdown. And now they've still got a chance in this game. So the kicker is going to stay on the sidelines. These guys will try for a two-point conversion. conversion is good so with less than two to go in the fourth quarter the score is 34 31 Ohio State and down he goes at the 40 yard line Kirk right now this is like a race a foot race and uh, I think the question is who's going to get there first how about watching these two quarterbacks execute their offenses I mean they're flawless up to this point great execution and playing with a ton of confidence I think you're right it's going to come down to that last possession the offense will come out again hoping to have similar results as their last drive and it was a really nice drive too Brad the quarterback got into a nice rhythm and did a good job of picking apart the defense makes it to the 31. The Nittany Lions, they're going to have to call their third and final timeout. From the 31-yard line, second down, just over a minute left. They'll run it. He's at the 20, inside the 10. Touchdown, Bucks. Ohio State staff, they've got to love the fact that they've got this kid in this situation week in and week out. Yeah, I mean, they know that when the chips are on the table, they've got to find a way to be able to get him his touches, and this time he steps up in a big way for the touchdown. And he converts the extra point. Ohio State is lining up to kick this one off. He's to the 20. Tackle at the 26-yard line. Brad, this is my kind of game. I love seeing this kind of production and the way these quarterbacks are playing. Both teams are challenging both of these defenses. They're ready to start another drive, hoping to duplicate the results of the last one, which ended in a touchdown. 
You know, when this defense went over to the sideline, based on the way they've been playing so far, this defense coordinator's got to be livid. Uh, he's got to get in the face. He's got to challenge them. He's got to get their emotions going. Because when you play defense, it's not just about X's and O's. It's about attitude and playing with a lot of confidence. Initially, it was called a catch, but now we're going to find out for sure if he at least had one foot in and possession of the ball before he went out of bounds. Well, I know the receiver isn't too happy, but they got it right after the review. No catch. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Gets it. He's in space. And he's tackled around the 34-yard line. in the game. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. Wow, what a battle and what a stop right there. Congratulations to that defense. That's going to be the ball game. When you're a quarterback and you start this close to the end zone, your eyes just light up when you take the field. Conversely, the defense is thinking, uh-oh, we can't let him get another one so quickly. So much scoring and so much fun. And finally, it's over. Ohio State 41, Penn State 31. So, Kirk, how would you sum up the action of this one? It was a good game, but I'm sure there's a little disappointment down there. Penn State had a few missed opportunities in this game, and I think if they could have capitalized on a few of them, it would have been a lot closer, and they might even have won this game. Sports and Kirk Herbstreit. This is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.